host of the Bulldogs of the University of Georgia. Well, they've been coming to this stadium since right after lunch. They just like to get here early. Here's the reason why. These are the standings as you look at the SEC. Four to three and zero. Then Georgia and South Carolina at two and one. Tennessee at one and two. How about the Western Division? Well, this is how they stand. Alabama two and zero. Then LSU and Mississippi State at one and one. Arkansas one and two. And Ole Miss one and three. Auburn three and zero. And of course, not eligible for the SEC title. The man they call the Wild Thing. Watts will kick it off for the Alabama Crimson Tide. It may go left and it may go right, but if it goes straight, it may go out of the back of the end zone. Well, there it is right there. Seven yards deep in the end zone. Here are the starting lineups for the Georgia Bulldogs brought to you by Russell Athletic. Eric Zier, he had his first interception last week. It, it came against Ole Miss. In fact, he had three. He can't do that tonight and a win over Alabama. Wide receivers, they're very good ones, especially Bryce Hunter. Bama can't go to sleep on number 88. In the offensive line, they're trying to get everybody healthy. Finally, after missing two games, Adam Meadows is back at that split tackle side. Bowie straight ahead with the run. Five. A 10 and a first down on a running play right off the top. Here are the folks that are going to try to stop him tonight. Damian Jeffries has been playing extremely well. In fact, he had a fumble recovery for a touchdown just last week against Tulane. The linebackers, boy, this is an active group. The, the one the coaches really like, Andre Royal, number 36. He goes to the ball extremely hard. And in the secondary, three year letterman Sam Shade. He's not starting tonight at strong safety. It's Eric Turner. I think the Tide coaching staff is trying to send a message there. Zion rolls the pocket, throws it complete up to the 42 yard line. Jeff Thomas is on the receiving end, and Mike back to back first down.